Welcome to Dano on Fire right here on Hi TV. So what is this show all about? Quite simple. Well, it's all about chit-chatting with some of the most known and loved faces in Colombo. No, in Sri Lanka, no. Take two. Welcome to Dano on Fire right here on Hi TV. Well, thank you so very much for tuning in. It's a brand new venture. Now, let me give you a breakdown about the show. The show is all about me getting involved in their cooking series. Well, I love to eat and I love the people who I'm going to speak to on this show. So it's a combination that's going to go perfectly. So we are going to be going from the kitchen to the recipe and then to the table of we enjoying a great meal. Today on the show, I had to find the person who is celebrated for the fact that he can not only cook great, but also have a great conversation. The man who is also trending a new rugged look. Happy to have Kolu with me on my first episode. Hi, Kolu. <laughs> Stand by. Oh, hold on. Get the cow there. Hi, Kolu. Hi, hi. Oh, I'm loving the beard look. What are we making today? I'm going to give you uh, pasta. But without the normal pesto, we are going to do a carpincha pesto. Oh, it's a curry local. leaf, so you know, so give a local touch to it. Okay. Uh, to keep it with all the butter we are going to put in, to keep it healthy. I like it. <laughs> right? So now while this is done, then I have made the fresh uh, pesto sauce. Mm. We do carpincha, garlic, parmesan cheese, a little oh. bit of cajuns because we don't have pine nuts. <laughs> and uh, olive oil. Okay, cool. So now we let this... Is this... Can you say this is something that you really like to cook? Is pasta your favorite dish? Uh, pasta, well, it's not, well, one of my favorite dishes. Mm. I try to avoid pasta now, but any once in a while I like having it. So now I put the nice green stuff into it. After all the pizza, then there'll be lots of color pizza for us. Cook it. And do you cook at all, Dano? Me? No. I know how to eat very well, as you could have seen. With years I have grown, Kolu. I from the time you first saw me to now. You have your, <laughs> sis you have your sister cooking for you, so yeah. you have no issues about that. So now I put in a little bit of cream, so as you can see, this is not at all slimming. Definitely not. This is just perfect in a hot afternoon like this. Yeah. Uh, I've actually walked into Kolu's house in broad sunlight. It is so hot today. We're all just melting a little bit, but it's okay. Food will just end up doing good, justice to all of us. And then I'm going to, this is already boiled pasta, which I'm going to toss into this. So you can stir it around. And this is all done, Danu. And after this, I thought we'd just top it up with a few prawns. So okay. we don't want to be vegetarian today, you <laughs> know? Huh? So I be vegetarian, we have the carnivores <laughs> in one way or another. So I'll uh, mix this around a bit and get all the pasta and the mm. pesto sauce nicely wrapped into it and loosen it up with a little bit of, let's just pass the milk, Danu, right? Loosen it up a bit and That will make it much easier. So Kolu, these days you have... I know you told me something really funny. <laughs> so Kolu's house is opposite Tamil Sangam, which is like a place to... like all the Tamil gurus will walk into. <laughs> Kolu said, I never learned Tamil no while I'm just living right opposite this place. No, seriously, Dano, I regret it totally. I have wandered to it. Mm. I said, I must go, I must go, I must go. Now I'm in an area doing a little job down the East Coast mm. where it would have been a blessing if I had learned the language. Have you picked up any words at all? Well, I, well, I, we I shall say with that scolding <laughs> behind my back, I know what they're saying. Can, so, we can mute if you have only learned the bad yeah, words. Right. So I just uh, look at them sharply, then they think, oh, I understood, then uh, they run away. But I know when they're saying I'll something. give you a few fine words you can just use on and off that just abusing you. Yeah. Just just tell them like in a and all. That means I can understand. Yeah. I shall learn how to get that. <laughs> now for the prawns. What I shall I give you? I will need a little bit of olive oil there. Oh that smells really good. I like this shoot. See, out of all the shows, I thought of a show where I can eat and talk at the same time. The two yeah. most interesting things. Yeah, of course. <laughs> 
Food is very essential in of our course. lives. No, Dan. No. Definitely. Right. I, I presume it will be onions next. Yeah. See, you have a little knowledge. I know, I know. And like, today is you get another spoon, so I shall use the same spoon. That's how everyone does it. Yeah. It's just that's when the flavors just get transferred into emulsify. Yes. yes. <laughs> so we'll uh, get this going. So I wanted to ask you, Kolu. You know, just dating back in time, everyone does something when they're young. No, that's when they sort of figure out, oh, I'm good at it. Hmm. When did you ever cook first in your life? I started by baking cakes, Dano. Can you believe it? Oh, but are you, a, are you a fan of baking cakes now? No. Uh, well, now I have rarely, rarely done a cake. Mm -hmm. Other than if I do it for a client of mine, mm. who has asked me to be very nice and kindly do cakes for them, which I have there. 40th reading anniversary or something, sick and everything. Yeah. How long ago I did this case? That is true. And I tried to oblige. Mm. But I don't know what happened to me after baking so many cakes. So, how old were you when you, like, who told you, ah, I think Kolo, you actually cook good food? I know, my father's a journalist. And though, I mean, dating back 40 year or 50 years mm. ago, cooking was prohibited. Like, not prohibited. No, pro cooking went on in the house because there were no restaurants. Mm. So, every foreign visitor was entertained in your house. Yeah, true. So, there was a lot of cooking going on in one's house. Mm. So, that was all fine, you know. So, I learned because of that. And... Uh, but you know how, like, any family, even still, when they say, oh, we want to become a chef, the word chef is... Like not known, no? Yeah. Uh, I mean, we are nick nick there. Yeah, yeah. That's something that, you know, I come from Jaffna and they think I just talk for a living and they said, um, oh, he's just jabbering something. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that's yeah. okay. So I think, yeah. I think Sri Lanka has a long way to go in acceptance of all of this. But how was it for you back in the days? Like Back in the days, well, you must remember then hotel living was held in very high uh, uh, respect. Yeah. It was before the war. Right, okay. You know? So once a war came in, only the standards went down because mm. all our good hoteliers, chefs, everybody oh, went off to all over the world. Mm. So we were left with any muck which was here <laughs> and it has become like that. Yes. It has not, now there is nobody who is actually doing this professionally mm. unless they go abroad. Yeah. And all young children, especially the people in Colombo, the parents tell them, oh you listen, you do something else, you want to cook and then cook, you know, so uh. after the interest is lost. Yeah, so here we have got the prawns going a bit opaque here. Yeah. And once that is done, done, I will mix it all up together. And so does the prawn also go into this? On top of it. Ah, right. yeah. So that we have some sort of a meat, crunchy seafood thing at least. The bottom part is the good part. Yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. Spread this all up. When you're at home, of course, I take the liberty to lick it and all. Yeah, yeah. You can yet do it. You can yet do it. You know what? The nicest part of the cake because it's yeah, the raw Yeah, man, you're like, you have to lick it clean. Yeah, that's the fun part in yeah. the whole life. Have to be a bit more respectable, no, than just... just yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, old. Oh, Unhygiene. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the pasta. Put this aside. Get the prawns. The prawns also got a little bit of garlic and garlic butter. butter yeah. And we just toss this on top. Uh, <sighs> a bit of colour for us here. Mm. So we just nicely top this. Something that I like about Kolu's place is, where's the camera, can I look at this and talk? Let's say you ask for a coke, just a basic coke. You'll never get into those classes where your nose will touch it. It's like a one big glass with a lot of ice. It's lavish portions. It's a blessing. I got my coke. I told you it's worth the wait. <laughs> so, Kholu, now that we are here to chat about your life, um, 
Tell me that something that people don't know about you because I think your life has been quite <laughs> analyzed and scrutinized and viewed by many. It's too public, my life. Yeah. Everybody knows that I haven't kept any secrets. Now. That's the terrible part. That's true. <laughs> but let's go back to things that annoy you the most. And today you have become like I've known Kolu from the time when Kolu used to do shows and phenomenal. Uh, to now you take a very back seat, you're more like to yourself and what, what was the cause behind the shift? Well first now I'm 57 years old, that's mm -hmm. one uh, reason. The other reason I know I, I just cannot put up with the hypocrisy of our, of our Kalamu society. Mm. I find we are being very shallow, I find the people, most people in Kalamu very shallow. It's only about themselves. I, me and myself and what they have and some liars, you know, mm. all the time. I mean, most of them are lying about what they have. Yeah. So, I took a back seat. I decided, you know... To view it from a distance. It's, it's much more fun, <laughs> I tell you something. I stopped drinking also a lot. Uh. And it's more fun now on the rare occasions I go up and I see them drunk and uh. behaving like idiots. Those <laughs> liars are behaving like idiots with them. <laughs> now it's fun, that know, because I am watching them and thinking, oh gosh, thank God, I don't behave like them anymore. Mm. But actually, like today, if you do take this so called society life, I think we have all come to it's such a big thing, especially in Colombo. Like, oh my god, I need it so, like, even this high TV, like, oh, I have to be on high magazine, oh, I have to. It's such a, such a forceful thing. What do you think has escalated in from what it was to what it is today? I think it's this modern thing. First, this is social media, it's everybody has been access to everything. Mm. Dano. Now, everybody can be a star, no? even if you don't get into the I magazine. Yeah, you can. When you're angry, then you say, Who wants to be in that magazine <laughs> that 24 7 then, is? Yeah, then uh, you like trash uh, that on trash Facebook, that and then you have another set of people to follow. continue and on everybody that. Everybody follows and the nastier things you say about. Uh, I magazine or this magazine mm. or that magazine, they are happy to continue and slandering. Mm. So this gives them all, everybody is a, sort of a star in their own rights now, mm. Mm. you know. So if nobody publishes them, they get on social media, so right. that's it, yeah. you know. I uh, wanted to ask, you know, I'll serve, no? You serve, yeah. yeah. I'm not going to like just look at the food then wait, yeah. it's too good. Now, uh, how do I uh, move this? <coughs> the dive into it. Don't use bloopers. <laughs> so, what I wanted to ask you was, you know, um, people have mixed opinions about you, no, Kolo? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to just yeah. think about how to phrase the question. Yeah. Now, some yeah. just say you are a, you know, a big B. <coughs> some say, oh, he's really sweet. No, I have, I have actually seen both sides too. Yeah. I have seen the very nice side too. I think you have known me from my teens to yeah, up to now. Course, yeah. So, um, how would you define yourself? It's not for anyone else, but yeah. like, like I'm sure a lot of people, like I know of people who have spoken to me about you. Yeah. They're like, oh, Kolu. Oh, Kolu. Yeah. Like, you know, some want to know you for the fact that you're Kolu and yeah. some want to just say that they know you and just say something bad about you oh, because they feel yeah. that they know you. <laughs> And most people, there are a lot of people who claim that it's so funny. Somebody claims to my sister, how yeah. well they know me and yeah. this and that, and say that you know even she must meet me, you know. So that has been on one. <laughs> because your sister occasion. is so the sole yeah. opposite of you. <laughs> yeah. So you know, and she doesn't want to tell that she's my sister. I think. Mm -hmm. But um, I really don't care what they think of me. Then I, I of course, tell what I had to say. I really, at this stage, I don't care what anybody thinks about me. I just tell them what I had to say, and that's it. Whether they talk to me or not, I really, it doesn't matter. Mm. Um, something that I have always spoken to Kolo about is the fact that, you know, um, in, in Colombo, the acceptance of uh, same gender has been a huge problem. I, I think although it's accepted, they still frown upon it. And I think uh, Kolo was somebody who gave me the insight to the first AIDS patient who was recorded in our country yeah. and who was your friend. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to go back and like how was how was it then like how was the situation when oh it was so bad you know and it was, it was, i mean even now anything is a social stigma mm. no? you can imagine then how it was yeah you know? true i mean the poor uh, my good friend was with me one day and i used to be selling cakes at that mm. time from my house and one client came and i think she took the cake she saw him and actually, I think she went to the wrong corner and <laughs> dumped the cake. Yeah. Because that's the knowledge they had. And they, 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 
these are educated people who are supposed to be you knowing everything. Mm. Ignorance was crazy. And then I, she went control everyone, don't go and get anything from him because the AIDS patient is in his bad. house, you know. So that was how bad it was. And mm. then my then Richard was alive. Then Richard and I, all of us had it. Mm. So we it was we had anyone who associated even yeah, marginally. So we I we just didn't bother about it, you know. But well, why should we bother? We That's know right. what we have, do have, you know. Mm. So right now I wanted to skip to the things that have sort of crafted Kulu or like shaped Kulu to what he believes in life today and everyone thinks oh he lives a fabulous life, uh, if you flip a magazine he's there, he has his own curry powders, you know the reasons why they think oh he has a good life. Uh, but you have had your own share of difficulties like everyone. Yes of course I had a lot done and let me tell you all brought upon by myself. <laughs> so, but I don't regret one thing even about it, Dano, mm. because from everything I had learned lessons out of that. Mm. And I think till we die, we keep on learning lessons. Now, not so much as it used to be. Mm. But I'm like the rising of the phoenix, you know, I always crash down and rise up, crash down. Mm. So it, I am quite used to it, but yeah. I enjoyed every moment of it. I have never, I have yet to this day, what I have gone down with, I have never regretted that I have done it because I absolutely enjoyed doing it. When you did it. When I did it. That is true. So that's the main thing. You know, um, you know a lot of people do say this, so, because you have had multiple brands as restaurants and sort of, you know, worked with many. What, 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 what is the reason that, you know, you don't sustain one and sort of, because you have advised so many people on their menus and they, it has just taken off. <laughs> I prefer to do that because I think when I run a place, I, well, I'm a bad businessman. You are an artist, yeah, not the yeah. manager. So I'm a creator. <laughs> yeah. So I get somebody to run the business part and they finance it and whatever. And actually what I think I should tell you is that all of them are like bad marriages. Mm. So I got <laughs> divorces with all of them. Yeah. Now it's a different way I set up things, whatever. Most of them are successful. Some I have few. Oh, why the clients yet fight with me? Mm. The other day, somebody accused me of uh, that one of my menus for a Sri Lankan restaurant. When I gave a menu, he said he like a bath curry. So I said, <laughs> What the hell do you want in a Sri Lankan restaurant? Yeah. Caviar, <laughs> you know. So anyway, it or you get clients like that yet. Mm. Yet you get the difficult, difficult, difficult ones. They get you, they consult you, then they know all about food. And then they, yeah. They, so it's always, we are quite used to it. Mm. So I, because I only want to get paid, that's all I'm interested mm. now. Because actually, I know why they hire you as a consultant to have to then hear that they know everything about cooking and mm. they are experts in cooking. So, so it's a big joke, you know, our, our people always know they know everything. So mm. I, I have long past bothering about these people. <laughs> but um, do you feel bad, like, when people, sort of you know throw mud at you especially without knowing you or assuming that you are such person yeah but that's to be expected no these I mean, let's face it you look at who's throwing mud they're all unhappy people you know mm -hmm. they're having some problem some issue you know it's not even about some of the richest people I know also are slinging mud because they have everything, but they are empty and unhappy. Mm. I don't bother about it. They're the jealous, Tano. That's true. I agree. Yeah. I think I should also live on those policies. Yeah. But, um, you know, going back to one of those things that you have told me about, you've been very open about it with me. I hope I can bring it up. But, you know, you had a time in your life where gambling sort of took over your life. Yeah. And what was the reason behind it and how did you come out of it? Or like, <laughs> was it like a hobby? Well, it's not a hobby, it's a thing you went in for fun. Uh -huh. And then you get completely addicted to it. Now let me tell you something. I am yet a game of bakara, <laughs> playing bakara is the best thing even better than sex. <laughs> 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 and uh, it's the most enjoyable game. If I ever become a billionaire, I will only spend my time uh, inside, inside the club. Yeah. That is true. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think if I become, I think I'll opt for the second option. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, sex is also quite costly these days. Yeah, uh, yeah. everything you have to pay. But one way or another, if you yeah. get married, or it's the same. You have to look course. after the other person, that so it doesn't true. matter. Yeah, at least here, you just pay for it and you're done with yeah. it. <laughs> and you know what you're getting also. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um, as you are my first and favorite guest to have on this, because of the fact that, you know, one, I know that food will never be a letdown with you. <laughs> at least I'll have a good happy stomach when I leave this place. Um, for those who are watching, everyone knows you as the fabulous Kolu, larger than life, defined in so many ways. But 
if you will have to define yourself, how would you say it? I'm a nice, quiet person who only wants to mind my own business and watch TV and enjoy my life. Yeah, although you won't believe it, it's actually very true. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it has been our first episode with, uh, you know, Down One Fire. I couldn't think of a name, Kolu, so I just said Down One Fire. That's great. Nice, yeah. no? Yeah, I mean, it's all. You're not all cylinders. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so we'll catch you with another cool episode. Till then, you keep smiling. It's a wrap. So big thank you to Kolu and to the crew who has worked behind making this show possible.